50% of patients with a serious chronic disease are not going to be adherent in less than two years. So 50%, so go back to that, that statistic of 50% of non-adherence. It's amazing. Um, so with that, the expectation for some major growth in, in the home monitoring systems, working with different partners to, to make sure that we get that view of uh, the millions of people that are now connected is, uh, is obviously going to happen. And the, the last point is talking about the good news is that, that, that people, patients really want to engage in, in, in their healthcare. They want to work with the healthcare technologies that are available and are really motivated to track the, the health uh, through the use of, uh, of technology. And it's clear that there is a huge dis dissatisfaction with, with, with the tools that are available for, for people now. So we've got an opportunity to help for sure. And so when you think about what we've done as a company, is that we've got drug, we've got delivery, we've got services. And that's, that's something that we as an industry have done very well with. Thinking about education, thinking about call centres, the nurse support, the home delivery systems that we put in place. We've done very well at, uh, at developing those kind of solutions. What we've covered today is the second box is thinking about the remote adherence that comes. So when the patient is away from the physician, what exactly is the, is, uh, are we able to do in terms of getting some visibility on, on the kind of adherence that you've got on, uh, from the patient? It, it's giving some visibility to what really was invisible in the past. And what comes next in terms of home care solutions is, uh, I think, the exciting bit of innovation for us as an industry. Because we can think through that remote monitoring, we can identify where patients have a challenge, where they have a problem. And rather than waiting for six or 12 months for a patient to come in, is that there's potential to intervene at exactly that point when a, a problem is identified, is that you can insert some extra solution that's going to produce a, a better outcome. So we've gone from just delivering drug through clever devices to monitoring to then thinking about how with that monitoring you can then intervene to get a better solution for patients. So really exciting uh, potential for us to innovate going forward. For us as an organisation uh, at Merck Serona, we've, done, uh, we've developed a MS Dialog. We have a device in Revismart which will deliver that drug, which will measure adherence. You'll see on the, uh, on the smartphone, that's from a patient's perspective, they get an MS Dialog app. They get an opportunity to really engage with the, uh, with the disease itself. And for the physician themselves, they have an MS Dialog app where they can see the information as it talked about in the video in terms of adherence, in terms of how the patient is actually feeling and managing in the key elements of the disease that they want to identify. So it seems a good solution. It's good progress, I think, in terms of the patient support that we've put in place. And clearly understanding how the patient is progressing with the disease is a really important point. And certainly for a disease like MS, it's absolutely critical. Think about if you can pick up an issue at some point when that happens with a patient, then you can do something about it. If the, patient, if the adherence is not good, you can intervene immediately because you can get some counselling or you can get some support to address why the adherence is not good immediately that you're seeing that. If the patient is feeling fatigued or tired, you can address that. If the patient's feeling depressed, you can intervene at, at some point to, to address that. Um, and so there's huge opportunity through this uh, innovation that we put in place to really produce a much more positive outcome for the patients. So tailored targeted interventions that could go further to improve the out outcome for patients are really going to bring value to the payer. And so from my personal perspective, this is, I think from our perspective in the industry, is a huge source of innovation for us to go forward, further. So we've reviewed the, the progress in, in terms of e-health technology, and it, it's clearly been very big in, in our industry, and, uh, and we're stepping forward at a much faster pace now and what part we've played as, as Merck Serono in, in developing that kind of tailored solutions but we want to get to a point in those precious consultations where the chronic patient walks in and instead of the doctor asking how you're feeling is the doctor really knows how the patient's feeling and then the doctor really knows what they can do about it and that's going to create a very different value for the patient and I thought I'd put a, a patient on and we've talked about the importance of our engagement with patients to develop the solutions that, we, uh, that we've seen here is only comes through our interactions with patients. This is a Spanish patient who's a real advocate and has been very insightful uh, in terms of educating us as, uh, as, as a company to find these kind of solutions to address her disease. 
Um, so with that, I think uh, I'm fascinated to see how as an industry we can, as a great innovative industry that we are, that we can go further with this to provide some amazing solutions over the next decade. So thank you very much for your attention, everyone.